Federal Aviation Administration, and Transport Canada Holdover Time Guidelines. Highlights and Changes, for Winter 2024-2025 The Allowance Timetable section has been expanded, to describe the purpose of the new list of fluids, validated for use with Allowance Times Table. Fluid-specific holdover time guidelines have been created for four new fluids. ALAB, International ProFlight, PG4, Type 4. Chongqing Joba Chemical Company Limited, FW4, Type 4. MKS Devo Chemicals, Core Ice, Phobe Type 4, PG, Type 4. And Shanxi Cleanway Clean Surface 4, Type 4. Fluid-specific holdover time guidelines have been adjusted for two existing fluids. MKS Devo Chemicals, Core Ice Phobe Type 2, Type 2. And ALAB International Pro Flight EG4. Holdover Time Guidelines for Clariant Safewing MP2, Flight Plus, JSC RCP, Nordics Defrost, PG2, All Clear Clear Wing, Eco, Clariant Max Flight Avia, Clariant Max Flight SNEG, and Clariant Safewing EG4 North have been removed. Increases have been made to the Type 2 generic holdover times, in freezing drizzle, and in light freezing rain at minus 3 degrees Celsius and above, due to removed fluids. Increases have been made to the Type 4 generic holdover times, in snow and in freezing fog below minus 8 to minus 14 degrees Celsius due to removed fluids. Several decreases have been made to the Type 4 generic holdover times, in snow and in freezing fog, due to newly added fluids. A new snow mixed with freezing fog column has been added to all type 1, 2, 3, and 4 holdover timetables, with fluid-specific values. The generic, snow mixed with freezing fog table has been removed. A note was added in all type 1, 2, 3, and 4 holdover timetables, indicating that the visibility table must be used in conditions of snow mixed with freezing fog in order to confirm the snowfall intensity. The Type 1 column in the active frost holdover timetable has been split into two to separate aluminum and composite holdover times. A caution relating to cold soaked wing with the use of 50 50 fluids from the Type 2 and 4 fluid application table was added to the Type 2 and 4 fluid holdover timetable cautions. A caution relating to shortened protection times in heavy weather conditions that applies to all Type 1, 2, 3 and 4 holdover tables has been updated to include blowing snow. A caution was removed for all Type 4 fluids, indicating that the holdover timetables are for use with aircraft conforming to the SAE AS5900 high-speed aerodynamic test criterion. The table list of fluid validated for use with allowance times was added, indicating which type 3 and 4 fluids are validated for use with which allowance times. The conditions. Light ice pellets mixed with light rain and light snow. Light ice pellets mixed with light freezing rain and light snow. Moderate ice pellets mixed with moderate snow. Have been added to the type 4 allowance timetables. A new above 0 degrees Celsius column was added to all allowance timetables, and the tables were restructured accordingly. Notes limiting certain conditions to above 0 degrees Celsius have been removed. The light ice pellets and moderate ice pellets allowance times for type 4 EG fluids have been expanded in temperature below minus 5 to minus 10 degrees Celsius. The precipitation type column and the METAR codes column have been merged into a single column. The small hail note was updated to provide clarity, and the corresponding small hail METAR codes have been added to all conditions in the tables. The note regarding the 90-minute rule has been updated to add clarity and to include the new allowance time conditions. 
the list of fluids has been updated to reflect the latest information available on all de-icing, anti-icing fluids. Keep your ground to icing and anti-icing procedures and training updated. This will promote safety, efficiency, environmental benefits. Contact us for cost-effective e-learning customization of this video for integration into your LMS.